How's it going? Did a clip on the aquaponics the other day with some cloudy water issues I was having. I did post a clip on it, but I pulled the clip. Thank you very much for everyone who posted an idea or a suggestion on how to deal with it. Um, I ended up looking after it by leaving it alone, basically, and it cleared up itself. I had some help from a gentleman, thank you, Paul, uh, on how to check to see if there was an algal bloom in the system and just using pH plants algae is a plant it photosynthesizes during the day so releases oxygen which raises the alkalinity Uh, respires at night breathes in um, oxygen and breathes out co2 at night and lowers the pH, makes it more acidic. So after a few tests, we pretty much all worked out that if there was an algal bloom, it had been and gone, so that wasn't a big issue. I've made up a little bit of a filter. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's only half built, so I'll get to that in another clip itself, but I just thought I'd do a bit of an update on the water quality. Over the last couple of days, we've had over 120 millimeters of rain, so I think that's well, roughly about five inches of rain. So. This morning I emptied this out at 120 mils. Let's fix my camera. This morning I emptied this out at 120 mils. It's about to start raining again on me. And since nine o'clock this morning, we have received another just under 15 mils. Looks like 14 mils. So I'm going to leave that there, and we'll keep. And I'll check that again later for today's total. Just down at the aquaponics. I'll show you what the water looks like now in the AP. I'll just turn the pump off for a minute just so you can get a bit of a bit of a better look. Hey, and it comes into focus. It's really not cloudy, honestly. There we go. You can actually see to the bottom of the tank. So it's pretty much all cleared up. We've got some lovely great big jade perch in there. One or two are looking rather dinner sized, I think. Um, the cloud issue, uh, the discoloration in the water is actually tannins from the new feed they're getting and there are still a few small suspended solids in there but nowhere near, if you remember the shots from the other day, nowhere near as bad as that so these little guys are a lot better, better off I think. I'll just show you what I've done over on the other side. I came down this morning and I pumped out down to below this bar here in the sump tank just to give us a bit of a buffering space. So that extra 14 millimeters of rain has raised it up probably about another, I'd say about another two inches or five centimeters. So we're just under the lip. I've actually pulled all the stand pipes from the bell siphons so I can get a true volume of water in the system. So I'm going to have to go over there, turn that, um, there's a tap on just behind there, point it out there and release some more water out of the system because we are expecting more rain. So I just thought I'd give you a look at that. And as you can see from the sump tank, it's nice and <laughs> comes up blurry. Focus camera. As you can see from the sun tank, it's nice and clear. Oh, it's clearing up, it's getting there. So, this um, filter isn't finished. Uh, the water isn't going down through the shell grit, but it's a work in progress. I just wanted it in there the other day to help remove any of the fine solids. I don't think it's really doing a great job at that. So I've got an idea on how to fix that. I'm going to put a central core in it and all this other stuff, but you'll see that in a clip in the future. So the shell grid in that bag will also be helping buffer the pH. It should raise the pH. If the water's acidic, the acid eats through the calcium in the shell, or the, the shells releasing calcium and buffering or raising the pH. So it's just starting to rain here. Just gonna grab my little pen. And we'll do a quick reading from the outflow from the fish tank. I always like to do my reading from the fish tank because that's where it matters as far as I'm concerned, the pH affecting the fish. So I'll just pop them in there, you can't really see. Takes a couple of seconds. There you go, done. So it's 6.6 .6 and 24.2 degrees. So I haven't buffered the tanks with any hydrated lime or slacked lime in 
pretty much well five days now before that I was adding quarter of a cup every day just to keep the pH around about 6.6 .6. so I didn't want to do it, overdo it I was doing it slowly so it's just about to start bucketing down here so I'll turn the air pump back on and I'll go around and put these standpipes in in a minute so anyway that's a bit of an update on the clip that's no longer on YouTube so yeah, I'm getting there slowly. The filter will be finished off hopefully in the next coming week or so. Um, as the water's clear, there's not that much of an issue for me right now to get in there and um, worry about it. I mean, a system this big really shouldn't need a filter at all. Even the radial filter's a bit of overkill, but I like to play around. So there you go. Uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, have a great one. Catch ya. I came down here this morning and I pumped out, hello goldfish, 